All right, you're standing here in Chesapeake City, right on the Chesapeake Delaware Canal. It doesn't get any better, better than this. I'm here at the Bayard House, and I'm here with Mary. I'm telling you, if you're looking for great dining, you're going to find it right here, and I'm going to find out about, all about it. And Mary, just a great place to be. Thank you very much. We enjoy it here. We have a lovely location right on the water. We have wonderful food, a lot of things to uh, in, uh, entertain people. We have an outdoor bar, an indoor bar, fine dining upstairs, patio dining outside. Now you've been in Chesapeake City for quite some time. I mean, you know, I always try to ask people, well, what do you do for when you want to get away when you're in paradise, you know? So and this this is paradise when you talk about Chesapeake City. But let's talk about the, the house here, the Byard House. When you, we're talking about this, what great food. The food is wonderful. We have a uh, seafood buffet going on Thursday nights. We have wonderful crab cakes. We have um, all sorts of uh, Chesapeake style uh, entrees that are uh, from this area and uh, our chef does a wonderful job with that. Yeah, because you're talking top notch, a five star restaurant when I look at it and see the food is coming out of there. And then you, ha you have a nice restaurant that, you know, and I want people to understand, you come down here and enjoy it in the evenings and sit there and you don't have to, if you don't like the heat, today's a perfect day to be outside, but if you don't like the heat, you're inside in an elegant restaurant. We have beautiful view from our upstairs porch right on the uh, glass there and you have a beautiful view of the canal. And nice and cool and then you come down here if you want to come down here and really enjoy being right on the water itself you can't in Chesapeake City you cannot get any closer to the water than what you can here we have a patio dining outdoors and it's about 20 feet from the water so I think you're right <laughs> yeah and then to get, get, get I, I kind of concerned with the people at the bar outside bar here because they're like five feet from the water <laughs> you know when you're talking about that because you can come out here and sit I mean we're standing and, and within three steps I'm stepping in the water that's right that's right but they all have a good time they know <laughs> Yeah, a lot of locals uh, Thursday night's local night here Thursday night is local night but we all welcome anybody that is our new neighbors and and uh, we make new friends all the time here yeah and, and it's just a great place to visit now let's talk about hours of operation because that's important people coming down a little bit different hours on a weekend of course the weekend traffic's a little heavier but during the week you can come down here and dine we start our lunch at 11 o'clock and we have a new menu format so we serve our lunch dinner and bar items all from the menu you can get that anytime during the day we start at 11 during the week we our kitchen closes at 9 and then on the weekend our kitchen closes at 10. yeah so you come down here and enjoy dinner all the way up through those hours and and lunch i didn't even think about lunch what a great way to have a business appointment if you're out there uh, you know i can't think of a better way to encourage somebody to buy business from you than sitting here looking out over the water. We have a lot of um, uh, small meetings and we have a small business uh, meeting room that um, is a private room and of course they love to come down and have their luncheons here and get business done in a great atmosphere. Yeah, so you got all that going for you, and this is, once again, I, I always I always refer to it as a Bayard house. Am I correct with that? That is correct. Yeah, and of course, it was a family-owned business way back when, and they've been, you know, how long has this been? Because when you're talking about Chesapeake City, all the buildings are historic buildings, and this one, I, I think somebody told me it might be the oldest one in town. That is correct. Um, this was restored to be a restaurant in the early 80s. So this was actually somebody's house at one point? It was someone's home. It has been many things throughout history. It's been a, um, a rooming house. It was a hotel. And uh, there's one picture in the Hole in the Wall bar that shows that it was a provision store. Oh wow, Hole in the Wall bar. I forgot about that. When you talk about the coming out, you also have a bar inside too. We, don't... we do. The outdoor bar is called our Umbrella Bar. Obviously it's um, most attended during the warmer weather. During the colder months, um, the Hole in the Wall bar is always open. It's open today. It's open throughout the year. Yeah, so you can come down here throughout, and that's what I tell them people, you know, we, you don't have to wait on the summer months to come down and enjoy Chesapeake City. There's so much to do here. This is just one of the fine dining areas, I, you know, it, that you can have when you come to Chesapeake City. I can't think of a better place to come and have dinner and then right here at the Byard House. I would agree with you wholeheartedly. And Mary is there to greet you. Now you've been here in Chesapeake City pretty much quite a while yourself. I have. I've been here about uh, 28 years. And I'm finding when you talk to people in Chesapeake City, there's not too many people that can't tell you some of the history of Chesapeake City. 
That's right. They live in this little historic district. They are totally interested in the history of their homes and of the families that have been here. A lot of them have moved out of town and have moved back into town, and they just love being here in this little village. Yeah, but you definitely want to come down. and Come down and enjoy a great meal, folks. Buffet on Thursday night, but you don't have to wait on the buffet. Great menu to order off of. Come down and check it out. This is, once again, the Bayard House right on the... the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal. It is a main man-made body of water. Yeah. I knew, of course, this was the Bohemian Village back in the day. That is correct. Yeah, I knew that. I found that out by the historic people down here. It's Chesapeake City. This is Byard House. Once again, this is Mary. She'll greet you when you come in, give you a great seat. Just tell her you want to be up by the window and tell her hi for us. And thank you so much.